Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to Alignment Bootcamp. This is a live practice that we do every morning. It's 25 minutes on Zoom, and then I send out the recording afterwards, and here's a nice preview for all of you on uh, on the world of YouTube. So my name is Peter Lyons. Welcome. When you're ready, you can roll out your mat. We're going to start in child's pose today. So come down onto your mat. You can try knees together versus knees apart, whichever one feels more comfortable for you today. Either one works for me. Heels sink, hips sink toward the heels. Fingertips crawl forward, and then let the forehead rest on the earth. Close your eyes, relax your shoulders, relax your chest, relax your back, and exhale. Take a full breath in through your nose, fill up your stomach. Open your mouth, sigh it out. Again, take a bigger breath in through your nose. Open your mouth, exhale it out. One more time, biggest breath in, fill up your stomach, fill up your back, fill up your sides. Open your mouth, release. Good, close your lips now, breathe in through your nose. Out the nose. Breathe in through your nose. And breathe out the nose. And just in case you forgot, I'm here to remind you today that you are worthy of love. You are worthy of inner peace, freedom, prosperity. You are worthy of the very best that love and that life on earth has to offer. Take one more deep breath in here. And sigh it out. Let's move the body. Inhale, roll forward to a tabletop position. Exhale, stack the wrists underneath the shoulders and stack the hips over the knees. Good, let's move the body. Inhale, lift your chest, roll the shoulders back, look up, tuck your toes, and then exhale, round your back, press the earth away, lift your navel and gaze toward it. Inhale, extend, this is cow spine, shoulders back, chest up. (coughs) Exhale, round your back, push the earth away, chin to chest. Good, inhale, extend, shoulders back, look up. Exhale, round. Again, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more time, inhale. Lift your chest, look up. And exhale, round your spine. Push, push, push. Good, back to neutral spine as you breathe in. Tuck your toes, wrap the elbows back. Push the earth away, so your upper back is rounding a little bit up towards the sky. That's gonna lock your chest and it's gonna lock your shoulders. Spread your fingers and push your palms down flat into the earth. You're gonna grip the earth with your fingers. The fingertips are bent just a little bit here, so it's like you're palming a basketball. Again, as the biceps wrap forward, push and gaze forward. Now with your toes tucked, I want you to squeeze the glutes and then draw the navel in towards your spine. So your tailbone is neutral and it's pointing straight back. Now, float the knees one inch off the ground. Good, get nice and stable here. Almost as if you were gonna do some bear crawls. So keep pressing the earth, rounding your upper back, locking the shoulders. Keep drawing the navel in towards your spine and up towards your heart. Stabilize your core. Keep some activation in the glutes, drawing the tailbone straight back, neutral spine. Good, take a deep breath in here. Deep breath out, building some heat in the body. One more inhale here, and then just lift the hips up, straighten the legs, drop your chest back, and take downward facing dog. This is a short downward dog, so it's a shorter stance, but that's okay here for the first one. Keep the fingers spread, keep the palms pressed down, And then we're just going to bend the knees, straighten them out, 
bend the knees, straighten them out, and then we'll do one at a time. So bend one knee as the other leg straightens, and then switch, switch. Do that a couple of times. Take the, the heels for a walk. And then come up on both tippy toes. Bend your knees, drop your chest back toward your thighs. Drop the chest back, roll the shoulders out. And then relax the neck, nod the head yes, shake the head no. And then push the heels down as you push the knees back. Good, one more time. Up on the tippy toes, bend your knees, drop the chest back. Lift your tailbone up in the air and then straighten the legs and drop the heels down. Beautiful. Good, roll forward to a plank pose. Now you gotta adjust your stance a little bit here. So bring the feet back a couple inches so your body is nice and straight. Elbows back, biceps forward, gaze forward. Just like that bear crawl that we were in. Push the earth away, engage the glutes and draw the tailbone down toward the heels. Now strengthen your legs and push the heels back. Take a deep breath in. And then if you need to use your knees, you can, but keep the body as straight as a board. As you exhale, bend the elbows, brush your sides and lower all the way down to the earth. Beautiful, point your toes. Bring your hands a little bit wider than the earth, than the mat, come up onto your fingertips and then lift the elbows straight up in the air. Push down into your feet so that the knees are lifted. Now as you inhale, press into your fingertips, lift your chest up. Take a little bit of a back bend here, nice. So as you draw the shoulders down the back toward each other, pull the sternum forward and lift your chest up. Take a deep breath in, soften the glutes, and then as you exhale, twist your body to the right a little bit and lower the left shoulder towards the earth. Stay there for a minute. So the right elbow is up over the wrist, the left elbow is up over the wrist. Now I want you to roll the left shoulder out a little bit, roll the left shoulder out, and then lower it a little closer toward the earth and feel that stretch in the front of your chest and in the front of the left shoulder. Good, meanwhile, I'm looking up to the ceiling past my right shoulder, or in this case, I'm looking up towards the sky. Now let's switch back to center, inhale, press into both hands, lift your chest up, soften the glutes, and then exhale, twist your body to the left, lower the right shoulder towards the earth. And then I'm looking up past the left shoulder. Now, left elbow over left wrist. Right elbow over right wrist. Now roll the right shoulder out a little bit and then lower it closer towards the earth, feeling the stretch in the front of the right chest and the shoulder. This area gets super tight when we spend a lot of time typing on our phones or on a, on a laptop, looking at screens all day. We get very hunched over. Good, now inhale back to center. Press into both fingertips. Lift your chest up a little bit higher and then exhale, slowly lower the forehead down to the earth. Perfect. Put your hands underneath your shoulders. Tuck your toes. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, push your seat back to your heels. And then lift the hips up, downward facing dog. Perfect. Bring your feet together, please. Exhale. Inhale, lift the right leg in the air. Straight up. And then exhale, open the hip to the right. Bend your right knee and kick the heel toward your left seat. I'm gonna push the right shoulder down towards the earth. So the right side of the chest drops, the left knee pushes back, the left heel drops down, and the right knee lifts higher. Relax the neck and look toward the navel. Take a deep breath in. And a deep breath out. Open the body, open the body. Nice, one more deep breath and lift the knee higher. Exhale, open the hip even further. Gorgeous, up on the left tippy toes. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, tap the right knee to the right upper arm. Yes, hold it, lift the hips up, lift the hips up round your back, and then take a lizard pose. Step the foot outside your pinky here. Use your hand if you need to, to get the foot up outside the hand. From this lizard pose, I'm gonna keep the back knee up. You can drop it down if you need to. We're gonna take a big old twist. Lift the right arm up in the air. Look up toward the fingertips. Roll the shoulder back. At one of the gyms that I was teaching at, this was known as the greatest stretch ever. Push the left heel back. Lift up the back of the left knee, and then drop the right hip a little bit, and then push down with the left hand, lift with the right fingertips, and keep twisting the ribs to the right. Take a deep breath in. Big breath out. One more inhale. 
and exhale. Beautiful, folks. Inhale, plank pose. Right hand down. Step the right foot back. And then exhale, lower your knees to the earth. Arch your spine and lower the chest and chin to the ground in between the thumbs. Keep the hips lifted. So it's kind of like an inchworm here. Inhale, cobra pose. Slide forward. Put the pelvis down. Point the feet. Lift the chest. Roll the shoulders back. And then exhale, tuck your toes. Push your seat to your heels and lift up to downward facing dog. Really nice. Take a deep breath in. And a deep breath out. Bring your feet together. Inhale, lift the left leg in the air. Exhale, bend the knee. Open the hip. Kick the left heel to the right seat. Now I'm going to push the left side of the chest down. Press the right knee back. Drop the right heel down. Lift the left knee higher and open up through the hip. Relax your neck and look toward your navel. Take a deep breath in. Keep pushing the right knee back. Deep breath out. Push your chest toward the right thigh. One more deep breath in. And exhale out the nose. Press up onto the right tippy toes. Inhale. Exhale, left knee to the left tricep. Lift the hips, round your back, get it above the elbow, and then take lizard pose. Step the foot outside the left hand. Really strong. Now we're gonna take this twist here. Press down into the right hand, inhale the left arm up in the air. Look up at the left thumb, roll the ribs to the left. Push the right heel back, lift up the back of the right knee, drop the left hip, and then keep twisting left. Big breath in. All the way out. In through your nose. And twist, twist, twist out the nose. Inhale, plank pose, left hand down, left foot steps back. Exhale, lower knees, chest and chin to the earth. Keep the hips lifted. Inhale, cobra pose, slide forward, lift up. Exhale, tuck toes, seat to heels, downward facing dog, lift the hips. Take a deep breath in, everybody. Exhale, bend both of your knees, look forward. Inhale, walk to the front of your mat, bring your feet hips with distance apart. Halfway lift, hands can come to your shins, flatten the back out, heart forward. Navel in, gaze forward, elbows back. Take a deep breath in, and exhale, forward fold. Release the head, release the neck, fingertips down on the earth, relax the head. Good, take what you need here. You can move the body around, you can stay still. I'm gonna pedal it out, so both knees bent, and then straighten out just the right leg and then switch. Bend the right knee, straighten out just the left leg, and then switch. Some of you may have your hands flat on the earth. Some of you may have your fingertips down. Some of you might not get the knee straight all the way. That's okay. We're gonna keep the gaze on the earth, just to give me some balance here. And then let's do this. Bend both of your knees, let the head fall, relax your neck, and grab opposite elbows here. You gotta push into the big toe mounds, push into the toes give yourself a little bit of stability here and then gently nod your head yes release all the tension in your neck shake your head no and then shake the whole torso out a little bit here maybe side to side sway like a rag doll good release the hands bend your knees you can use your hands on your knees if you need to for support let the head hang and we're gonna roll slowly one vertebrae at a time up to stand Shoulders come up and back. And then bring the feet together, arms by your sides. And exhale. Inhale, lift the arms up. Press your palms together. Look up. Exhale, fold forward. Draw the navel back. And fold all the way down, hands on the earth. Inhale, halfway lift. Heart forward. If you need to, you can put your hands on the shins here. Exhale, step back to a plank. Push the heels back and get nice and strong. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Breathe out for one. Good, squeeze the glutes, push the tailbone toward the heels, inhale. Exhale to push, push, push the earth away, inhale. Exhale, draw the navel in toward your spine, inhale. 
exhale, keep the gaze forward for one more inhale. Chaturanga Dandasana, exhale. Bend the arms at least a little bit. You can use your knees if you need to. Inhale, straighten the arms, flip to the tops of the feet, lift your chest up, roll the shoulders back, soften the glutes, take a big back bend, and then exhale to downward dog. Lift the hips up, roll over the toes, and drop the chest back. Take five deep breaths in through your nose. Breathe out the nose, ujjayi breath. Breath, victorious, inhale, victorious breath. Exhale, relax your neck, gaze toward your navel. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Strengthen the legs, inhale. Exhale, press the knees back, lift the tailbone, inhale. And exhale, bend your knees, look up. Inhale, step or jump forward, feet together, head up. Exhale, push into your hands and forward fold. Inhale to rise, look up, press your palms together. Samasitihi. Again, inhale, strengthen your legs as you reach up. Exhale, bow forward, hands down, head down. Inhale, halfway lift. Look up. Exhale, step back to plank. Hold it and get nice and strong. Wrap the triceps back, biceps forward. Gaze forward, push the heels back. Strengthen glutes, draw the tailbone toward the heels. Hollow the belly, lift it in towards your spine, up towards your heart. Heart comes forward, wrap the triceps back. Continually, external rotation of the arms. Grip the earth with your fingertips. Press the palms down firmly. Breathe in through your nose. Out the nose. One more deep breath in. Exhale, chaturanga. Again, you can use your knees just like so. Lower the body. Inhale for upward dog. Straighten the arms, lift your chest. Again, I'm using my knees here if I need to. And then exhale, downward dog. Lift the hips up. Take five deep breaths in through your nose. Breathe out the nose. One, keep breathing. Wrap the, again, the biceps come forward by the ears. Reach through your shoulders and then drop the chest. Two, lift your navel and then pull the front and low ribs into the body. Three, extend your lower back and lift the tailbone up towards the sky and then press the knees back. Four, drop your heels down and relax your neck. Five, bend your knees, look up. Inhale, step or jump forward. Feet together, head up. Exhale, press into your hands, forward fold deeply. Inhale to rise, look up, reach up. Samasiti. Good, inhale, chair pose, bend your hips and knees, sit back, lift the arms up. Exhale, fold forward, hands down, release the head and release the neck. Inhale, halfway lift, look up. Exhale, step back and let's move through chaturanga right away. Lower the body. Inhale, upward dog, slide the ribs through the arms, chest up, shoulders back. Down dog, exhale, lift the hips. Inhale, step the right foot forward behind the right wrist. Spin the back heel down and reach the arms up. Warrior one, look up, press your palms together, lean back, stay there. Looking up, strengthen your back leg and lean back into it. Take a deep breath in. Deep breath out, lean back, drop your shoulders, inhale. Exhale. One more deep breath in. Exhale, warrior two, open the arms and hips to the left side. Now I'm adjusting my stance so that I'm in a straight line here. Front heel intersects the arch of the back foot. Spread the arms, spread the chest, look forward. Take a deep breath in. Deep breath out. Open the knee to the right. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Peaceful warrior. Inhale. Flip the right palm. Reach forward. Lift it up. Lean back. My left hand rests on the leg. Open the heart towards the sky. Big breath in. 
Exhale, low lunge, cartwheel the hands down, frame the front foot. Inhale, step back to a plank. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, step the left foot in behind the left wrist. Put the right heel down. Reach the arms up. Push your hands together. Strengthen your back leg and lean back. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale. Exhale. Drop the shoulders. Inhale. And exhale, warrior two. Open the arms and hips to the side. Now I'm adjusting my stance so that the heel intersects the back arch. Shoulders over uh, hips. Spread the arms, spread the chest. Look forward at the front fingertips. Drop the shoulders. Breathe in. Get strong. Breathing out. Inhale. Open the knee to the left. Exhale. Settle. One more inhale. And exhale. Flip the left palm. Inhale. Peaceful warrior. Reach forward. Up and back. Look up. Lean back. Open the heart to the sky. Exhale. Low lunge. Cartwheel the hands down. Frame the front foot. Inhale. Step back to plank. Exhale. Chaturanga Dandasana. Upward dog. Inhale. Chest up. Exhale, downward dog, hips up. Take five deep breaths. As you exhale, bend your knees, look up. Inhale, step or jump forward. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, chair pose, sit back, reach up. And samasitihi, arms by your sides. Inhale, hold your waist, spread your feet, hips width distance apart. Draw the elbows back and look up. Exhale, bow forward. Grab the big toes in yogi toe lock. So my peace fingers scoop up underneath the big toe and then my thumb pushes down into my big toe now. Inhale, look forward, bend the knees if you need to. And then as you exhale, push down with your toes so that the hips go up and then pull chest down using your arms and your back. Relax the neck, deep breath in. Breathe out, lift your lower belly in toward your spine, create space between the hip bones here. So the space between the hip bones, you're hollowing out that core and creating space to fold in half. Full breath. Inhale, look up, let go of your toes. Exhale, step on the hands, palms up, toes go all the way onto the wrist. The toes massage the wrist crease. Inhale, look forward, bend your knees if you need to at home. And then exhale again, push into your toes, drive the hips up and then pull your chest down, relax your neck, breathe. Inhale, your head up, let go of the feet, step off of the hands. Exhale, turn your toes out, I'll face you, and sit down in a squat. Now I'm gonna keep my hands on the earth here for a little stability, lower my hips as low as I can go, sit back in my heels, lift my chest up, and then bring my hands to prayer at heart center. Elbows pressing on the insides of the knees. Do the best that you can. If you need to sit on a prop, you can always stack a couple of yoga blocks underneath your seat there, or you don't have to come down as far. That's okay, you can come down to here if that's what you can do. But I'm gonna use the elbows to spread the knees. Now a squat is one of the most functional movements that we should be able to do as a human being. So if you're having a challenge with a squat, and this is something that you wanna prioritize for yourself. Take a couple minutes every day, sit in a squat, open up your hips. It's gonna help you, especially as we get older, 
to maintain that youthful, vibrant energy and movement to be able to move as we get older so we don't get too stiff because you want to be 95 years old and still walking and squatting, picking things up and putting things down, being able to interact with your family and your dog. Good. Take a deep breath in here. And a deep breath out. That's good for today. Come to a seat, please. So sit back, use your hands, cross your shins in front of you. Sit up nice and tall. Take a deep breath in. I'm going to reach my arms up overhead to get nice and tall. And then as I exhale, fold forward, bring my hands toward the earth and start to pull the chest forward. Now keep your sits bones grounded on the earth. And then instead of rounding your back and focusing on the forehead down, don't do that. I want you to focus on heart forward, heart forward, gaze forward. I'm okay if you relax the neck once you get fully down, but I want you to focus on lengthening and hinging at the hips rather than simply rounding through the back because we already do enough of that. Take a deep breath in. Deep breath out. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. One more deep breath in and a deep breath out. There it is, folks. Come back up to sit and just find a very comfortable seat. Any sort of comfortable seat will do. Close your eyes, sit tall. one more time in case you forgot you are worthy of love you are worthy of inner peace freedom and prosperity you are worthy of the very best that love and that life on earth has to offer bring your hands to prayer at heart center and bow your chin toward your chest in gratitude for all the blessings in your life and all of the magical things that your body just did for you and for all of the opportunities that you have that lie in front of you. Bowing your chin toward your chest in light and in love. Namaste. Thanks so much, everybody. Great practicing with you today. If you enjoyed this practice, make sure you hit like on the video and check out our our live class. We do something similar to this. We switch it up a little bit every single day. We focus on all the different areas of the body. It's a nice combination of strength, flexibility, a little bit of uh movement and flowing and breath work and we incorporate all of these things into a very short concise 25 minute morning practice designed specifically for busy people like you so if you like it uh shoot me a message over peter lions yoga at gmail you can also check it out on peterlionsyoga.com i'll drop a comment in the uh in the description below um and again i hope to see you again very very soon namaste y'all